To stop this world from spinning Like Superman you were the only one to find The strength in all that I was dealing with This life like kryptonite And if you keep me close Every minute in this hourglass You hold
Ram fam, welcome back to Black Ram GX Gamer for the special middle of the day Saturday stream here on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Kick, all four of them. We are live right now. We're gonna be playing uh, Ramble the Mountain King today. This game looks pretty fun. I've watched a few other uh, streamers playing it a little bit, so I don't know too much about the story. I don't know too much of what's going on. Uh, looks a lot like a game called Little Nightmares or something I played. Last year, two years ago, we live streamed it. It's on YouTube. It's out there. Um, we played this too, so it's kind of a side-to-side -side game. And um, a little, little bit of a horror, a little psychological horror. Seems very innocent, but then it goes off. Sorry, Louie, you got me distracted. Hey, how are you doing, Louie? Good to see you, by the way. I'm happy you're here. I hope you're having a good day. We got on early for you and some of our other friends over on the European side. Um, we might not get to be on as often, so. I was really happy that you popped in right away. Let's go. You're only going to be in for a little bit because you got to go out to eat. Ooh, where are you going to go eat? Um. <clears throat> oh, it looks like you got your vote. You got it to work. <laughs> it looks like you did the right thing before the I hate this. <laughs> so, not a big problem. Did you spell uh, color wrong or is that the American version? This is how we spell it in America. I, as a kid, actually was super confused. Uh, when I played a little game called RuneScape. RuneScape spelled armor with a U, color with a U, and I'm like, that's, that's, that can't be right. And then I started to think, well, it's in the game, it must be right. So then I started spelling things with a U, only to be corrected by literally everybody around me. So, um, that is, that is the American game. You spell color without a U, armor without a U. I'm sure there's more examples, but I can't think of you caught me off guard when you said that. I was like, wait a minute, what do you mean? <laughs> Thank you. I'm only going Brewers Fair, but as soon as I'm back, I'll hop on. Well, hell yeah. I'm sure this will be a long stream. The intention is to play through this whole game. It sounds like people who speed run it can do it in as little as three hours and 40 minutes. Average people are beating it in four and a half to five. Um, so I just plan to play it all the way through. This is what we're going to do today. Um, so we'll, we'll run through the whole game for, um, something. I have a stash of apples next to me to eat if I get hungry. So we can just keep going. <laughs> Whenever I'm on break, I'll just start shoveling apples in my mouth. So I'm not eating them and distracting anybody too much. Um, wait, you say armor? Of course I say armor. Body armor? Um. Under arm, liquid arm, all those great things. Um, so as per usual, just letting everybody know some of our goals here. Uh, one goal we have um, is to now, now on kick, we just hit 10 followers. So trying to make our way up to, uh, let's say 50, let's get to 50 at some point. Um, Facebook, we're cruising our way. Now that we hit 400, we are actually looking pretty good. On to our goal to 500. Um, our big goal though is our stars goal on Facebook. Stars are like bits on Twitch or super chats on YouTube. It's kind of their universal currency. Um, we are 24% of our way through our goal to be microphone. Just upgrading some of our equipment here. Get a better sound, better range of sounds. Um, once we do reach that, a special thank you to everybody for all the support, all the help to get there. Um, we are going to dress up in a full body dog costume, uh, which pretty much looks like Wilfred from the show Wilfred. Uh, and there is a clip of me in this costume, this is what inspired the idea, from three years ago on my Twitch. So you have to go to Twitch to see it. Um, I'll have the, the dark dog nose and all that. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm super excited. And the fact that we are progressing um, pretty quick towards this goal, it's, it's not a small goal. So the fact that we are moving along good is super exciting so thank you everybody who supported us on the way there and in the future um let's see twitch we're moving pretty quick on up to 200 follows i think we might have actually yeah, just hit 700. william harris thank you for the like let's go uh cheers cheers to you and louis by the way louis i'm late on the cheers so let me give you an extra um I think TikTok, we might have actually just hit our 1,700 followers over there. Actually, let me just take a look. Let me, let me not be lying about that. 
Oh, didn't just hit it. We're at 17.07. We, uh, we, we've surpassed it. So we're doing real well over there. Um, YouTube run away to 400. So we are, we're growing everywhere. Thank you everybody for all the extra follows, all the extra great stuff. Um, help us grow. Blue, yeah. So what I'm doing is going to get some clothes, get some food, and go for a bike ride for a bit. So I'll try to be quick. Hey, no problem. No problem. I'm sure I'll be on long enough for you to be able to do all those things. Take your time <laughs> and still be here. Don't move down your food too fast. Don't choke. Make sure you pick the right clothes. To get yourself some exercise on that bike. Not a problem. Uh, I'm just glad that you were awake and I wasn't uh, super late for all of my friends over there on the Europe side in the UK. Um, and we've had some people from Germany, Romania over there hop in. So I want to be on at a good time for you guys. <laughs> I need to see the dog costume. When it happens, can you make the stream link dog costume so I can just get extra excited? Yes, yes, I can. We'll uh, we'll advertise that it's happening um, prior to. Check out the clip on Twitch uh, if you would like. If you want to see just a hint of what it's going to be like. I think I was playing Resident Evil 2 in black and white. That was our Halloween, holiday stream for Halloween. And also, thank you, thank you for the congrats. appreciate it. Let's celebrate with the cheeky dad jokes. Ooh, all right, dad jokes time. Let's go. <laughs> all right, all right. I have a scary joke about math, but I'm too squared to say it. Huh? No, no. Hey, look, it's a good math joke. I read. A hundred jokes before I laughed at that one. Two squared, get it? Like the, the little two. It's, it's not that good when you have to explain it. Um, anyway, <laughs> that was today's dad joke. Brought to you by Louie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Louie. Let's go. We're getting cheeky today. Um, so yeah, I think that's about that's about all the announcements. After this, after we're done with Bramble, um, probably not going to replay it or anything. Uh, I think we'll move on to Diablo 3. That's the plan. We're going to do Diablo 3 Monday. Um, and as always, we're on Monday, Thursday, 6 to 9 p.m. CST. We'll be running through Diablo 3. It says it takes approximately 18 hours to beat. We'll have 36 hours until Diablo 4 of regular stream time uh, to get through it. So I can be a little... Like myself, you guys know I like to do long plays. I like to take my time. I like to explore, try to find everything, not miss any great stuff in the game. So we'll uh, we'll be working through that and trying to get that done around the time of Diablo 4. <laughs> yes, the crickets arrived. That was your idea. That was your idea. I was like, that's actually a great idea. We're going to take it and run. So I had to play the crickets for you. Thank you, Louie, for the great idea. What's this game about? So it's some kind of... Uh, Nordish, maybe folklore. Um, Bramble the Mountain King seems to be a small guy, about a foot tall, twelve inches. I'm, what is the what is the measurement for for everybody else in the world? So about 30, 30 and a half centimeters for context for you guys. Um, and it seems like in the beginning, it's very lighthearted, very um, beautiful. Just everything seems to be going good. And then everything turns and you're this small thing in this little world of nightmares that you're trying to navigate. Uh, so it looks fun. I've seen just, I think, maybe when it starts to turn bad, some of that intro stuff um, from some other content creators uh, that I follow. It's about the size of a ruler. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. About the size of an average shoe. Um, and so I, I know a little bit. I've seen uh, maybe 30 seconds of gameplay, and I was like, oh, that's free. We need to try it. We need to play it. So we are, we're going to give it a shot and see how that goes. Um, so yeah, I think that's about everything. We're uh, moving right along for all our goals. Thank you, everyone, for all the support with the stars, the follows, the subs. Um, means a lot. It means a lot to keep seeing the growth. And uh, oh, of course, I almost didn't go over the trivia question today. What color are the sunsets on Mars? Keep in mind that Mars, 
does not have an atmosphere like Earth. Therefore, the light is not reflected, refracted, or whatever in any sort of way. I'm probably saying some weird word, wrong words here, but uh, doing my best. All right. Uh, <laughs> is it? You can type exclamation point vote space A B C or D if you are on Twitch or YouTube on Facebook. You can play simply if you're on mobile. Left of the chat uh, is four white boxes. Click that the poll, and then you can just click your answer. Uh, otherwise, it should pop up as soon as you open the screen. Um, is it red, orange, blue, or purple? So far, so far, there is a strong belief among the stream. It's blue. All right, so we'll come back to the answer in, I don't know. Normally, I do it at about three hours in, but I'm doing it at 9 p.m. my time. We are starting three hours earlier, so I... I the only reason I do that is so if people are tired, I gotta get up for work, do it early. So I think we'll do the answer to the trivia question at the end, or maybe if we're a few hours in and people are curious, we can do it. Um, so yeah. One foot equals one Subway sandwich. That's right, or a Subway sandwich. That's about the, <laughs> that's about the height of our character. <laughs> that's an easy question. Ooh. Is it? Is it though? We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's get on with the action. Uh, I think I think I've covered all my bases. Oh, and uh, of course, if you are trying to help us out, a nice free way to support us is by going to the link below, wlo.link slash at blackrangegxgaming. Uh, type that in your browser, or if you want an easier way, on Twitch or Kick, you can simply go to the About Me page, click on the About Me panel, the little picture, the little ram head in it. Um, this little guy, this symbol up here, click on that. It'll take you straight there if you're on YouTube or Facebook. It's the first link in the stream description. Um, it'll take you to our Willow page, which has direct links to support, our merch, our Twitch, our Kick, our YouTube, our Facebook, our TikTok, our Instagram, and our Twitter. Um, all of them are great for either finding out updates on the stream, such as when we're going to stream um, an extra Friday or Saturday, like we did last night and today, um, or finding our short form content uh, on TikTok Reels, YouTube Shorts, YouTube Archives, everything we've ever done. Um, so go, go check them out. Even their Spotify playlist at the bottom, just music I've been listening to and adding to one playlist for like 13 years, a long time. Um, so yeah, go ahead, check it out. And you can learn a little bit more about us in some of those places and just help out. Louie, everyone better follow and make the merch up. That's what I'm talking about, Louie. Thank you so much Thank you for the kind words. In fact, I'm gonna cheers you for that. Thank you for throwing that out. Everyone, listen to Louis. Follow this man's example. I was just thinking um, before I got on here about how funny it was when you jumped in on YouTube. I didn't even realize it was you because you had a different name. And you're like, I just randomly found you here on YouTube. You're here too? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm everywhere. So, also, could you rate my new Xbox PFP? I made it. Uh, it's a mix of my favorite footballer. Salomon Randa and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ooh, your profile picture? PFP, I had to think about it for a second. That's the one you have on um, TikTok too, right? I saw that and I was like, oh, that's pretty solid. I didn't I didn't recognize you for half a second because of the picture change. I was used to seeing um, your favorite soccer player on there. Let me find it here, let me find it here. I thought that was straight up Obi-Wan. I didn't even see the face on it. That's pretty funny. I like that. Nice. What encouraged you to do that? The YouTube was a funny thing to witness. And that's the funny thing. If people have different names from different platforms, pretty much most people will if they're not a content creator. Just trying to make sure you're recognized from platform to platform. Don't know who you are. So if you come in all the time and you're on Twitch or Facebook and you're chatting with me, and you come in on a different platform with a completely different name and start chatting with me, I think you're new. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Hey, Daydreamer! Hello! How are you doing? Good to see you. This camera looks like it's a little bit of fun. It's just... Try to get it to refocus. Maybe I'll zoom myself out and zoom myself in. It auto-focuses, so sometimes it's and it feels unclear. <laughs> or, um... I'll just turn it 
the up and back. I, it's bugging me. It's bugging me. I hate it for not being anything, but. Mm. Oh well. We'll just slide on over to the game and we'll get things going. Daydreamer doing great. What about you? I'm doing fantastic. Doing super, super good. Very excited to be playing this game. Uh, Bramble the Mountain Queen. First time playing a new. Really love Little Nightmares when we played that. This looks very similar, so I'm excited. We're about to jump in here, so you're just in time. <laughs> having all the having an all nighter right now. Can't sleep. Hey, perfect place to be. We're uh, we're gonna be discovering this game together. Have you played this before? Do you know anything about what's gonna happen? Louie, um, it's the same person too. Oh, really? I I wondered. I wondered if that was your favorite guy. You saw the two photos and thought to myself, I could do a lot here. I could do something. I like that. That's funny. I like the creativity. Yeah, William Harris, hello. How are you doing? All right, let's flip this up. I'm just deciding on what language I want to go with. Should we go with um, Russian? Spanish? Shvenska? I think we're going to go in English. <laughs> Daydreamer, no, not really. Oh, perfect, perfect. So this is new for all of us. It's even better. Um, you don't have an actual setup, nor a laptop, so I don't know. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Uh, what time is it for you right now that you're doing an all-nighter? Ooh, how dark should we make it? We shouldn't make it that dark. Every time I do it where they say it's barely visible or it's not visible at all, there's whole parts of the game where I can't see shit. All right, photosensitive epilepsy warning apparently there's some flashing lights so this game contains explicit violence and excessive blood and gore oh it seems so innocent it does seem very innocent go hard mode of chinese which version they have two languages they have cantonese and then they also have uh mandarin which one <laughs> i wouldn't understand either it makes no difference to me <laughs> That's funny. It's like 4 a.m. right now? Holy shit. Damn, you must be on the other side of the planet. It's almost 4 p.m. for me. <laughs> Let's see if there's much you can do. Oh, no, we're not colorblind. We can leave the... Do we, do we like subtitles on or off? Does anybody have any opinions on that? I might... I don't know, sometimes I like to turn it off. So when we're making content later, so we're making shorts on YouTube or TikToks or whatever. Um, it's not distracting. But then at the same time, I usually do subtitles myself anyway, so. I guess it's less work for me if I just leave it on. Let's go for it. We got a flower here. How scary can this game be? Leave them on? All right. So we got about five minutes left. So let's go the game. A nightmare woke him up. Frightened by his mother's bedtime story, he searched for his Thank sister's for comfort. Life, but she was nowhere to be found. What game is this? This is called Bramble the Mountain King. It is a horror, maybe a bit of a psychological horror. Um... I think based around like Nordic mythologies? I'm not sure. Daydreamer, your frame rate's low? You can if you're on YouTube. Sometimes they set it low uh, if it's on auto. You can go to the little uh, cog wheel in the bottom left of the video and set it to, I think it's like stream quality or something, but you can raise it to 1080p. It looks like it says it's running an excellent connection right now, so it should be good. Stranger! Ooh, Mixed Devo, thank you for the shares. Cheers, by the way. Cheers for both. And cheers to Daydreamer. Thank you for uh, hanging out with us while you pull your all-nighter. Oh, 
Oh, see? We know exactly how tall he is. He's 8 AR. We were trying to figure out approximately how tall the character is before the stream. Um, well, that's funny. Now we know that exact measurement. Does anyone know what an AR is? Uh, not a 15. There once was a girl who snuck out of her bedroom window at night, even though her mother had told her not to. Naughty, naughty, don't do that. She went into the forest, and at first it welcomed her with warmth and a promise of adventures. Oh, well, it's a nice forest then. It's, it's chill. It seems cool. But soon, the forest seemed to grow colder and darker. Oh, hopefully she left some breadcrumbs. The girl was afraid, and she wanted to go home. But Bramble crawled around her arms and legs, and she could not get away. Is Bramble the the spiky vines, or the werewolf? Um, yeah, I'd leave. And I'd the leave girl that was never seen again. Whoa, to nobody's surprise. Wow, no wonder I'm having nightmares. That is what happens when you do not listen to your mother, especially you, Lily Moore. Their mother had said before kissing them good night. That's one way to teach you a lesson. <laughs> oh my god. Daydream might have to go soon, so like and I'll let you know. Well, thank you very much for dropping the like and uh, let me know when you head out. Appreciate you popping in and hanging out with us. Mixed Devo, you can change the quality from 1080 to 1080 from the video. On, uh, on the Facebook side, you can as well. So, there we go. I, I don't know why I did that. There was a purpose to it or not. Um, I just saw that I could, and since I saw that I could, I knew that I should. Louis, sorry, brother, but I have to go now. The darkness to outside back. scared yeah, yeah, yeah. him. I'll go on YouTube real quick. Um, if you like. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'll choose it right now, then, for the uh, like over on the YouTube side. Not uh, being oh. with his sister scared him even more. So it was his sister in the story? Because it seems a lot like the story book. So I'm going off in the woods to find... W where is the sister? Did I miss that detail? Just mirrors this kid looking spooky. This kid's looking spooky. It's not just you. Um, I thought he kind of looks almost like a doll. Kind of looks. The nearby forest was a familiar you. place during the day. Louie, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Hey, you have, uh, you have a good night, time while you're out. It was a different shopping, story. Shopping, getting some food, exercise. See you soon. There was no trace of Lilimur, and Ulle wished he could ask the pine cones if they had seen her. I could eat some of these mushrooms and we could ask the pine cones. They might have an answer then. <laughs> but if the pine cones knew about her fate, they kept it to themselves. Oh, those rotten pine cones. Oh, see? Pine cones are alive. It's fine. <laughs> Louis, thank you very much. I'll do my best. I think we're gonna have a good day. It's going pretty good. Kids reminding you of Chucky? Hopefully not that bad. Okay, this is starting to weird me out. What is the deal? Why are there dancing pine cones everywhere? <laughs> oh. Alright, what can I actually do with my legs? Do you have a jump? Oh. Trying to break this kid's legs, I guess. Okay. All right, that caught me off guard a little bit. I was looking down at my controller <laughs> for a second. Controller started to vibrate. Don't like the sounds. Bushes going. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of jump scares. I hope not. I, I don't do well. Jump scares. They 
get. Dead Island did the same thing 40 times and got me 39 times. It's brave ones. I'm just hanging out with my friends. You know, doing what we do, sitting on this bench. Oh, they had an apple. I'll tell you what. Good day to have some apples. <laughs> that just reminded me I have a, two apples right here. <laughs> Dreamer, this guy, this kid's in his rebellious era. He doesn't, he doesn't listen to his mom. What does she know? He's gotta find his sister. She's somewhere up there. McStevo just played Ravenlock. Looks a bit like this, but more for kids. I don't know if I've, oh, yeah, I have heard of that one. I saw it on Game Pass last night. Is that any good? Do you recommend that? Do you have a crawl? Do you have a bit of a sprint? <laughs> Nailed it! Oh my god, what was that? Is there a pterodactyl out here? Oh, more of a fence. I was waiting for like something to creep over that log that they're on. I'm, I'm not prepared for whatever this is. They are softening you for some kind of a scare coming up. I don't know what, this, what it is, what's gonna happen, but this feels like a calm before the storm. A little cold down here. Dark. A light in the dark. A symbol of hope. Spark of courage. Oh, all right. So it should never get too dark. Let's find out. Let's see how it goes. Hey, Steve, how much was this? This was 30 US dollars. Um, so not sure the exact translations for everybody else in their currencies, but about half price. Uh, for a full game. Or a triple A game. Page and remote types of game genres to usually play. So I'm kind of all over. I'm a little bit of a variety guy. I really love horror, so I play a lot of horror games. Um, like we're going from this. We just played Dead Island. Uh, then we're going to Diablo. Uh, three before Diablo 4 comes out. I like survival games. Questioning what's going on here. I like funny comedy games. Um, I have played Pokemon on stream before. So I kind of jump around, but I think I prioritize horror games. I like first person shooters and a lot of those, but um, I don't get into many of those. So Is this the sister? Oh, we found her. What do you have there? Lilimur asked. It glimmers beautifully. Hmm. Is this really happening or am I dreaming? What a strange rock. Light as a feather. She investigated huh? closely. <gasps> That's not how gravity works. <laughs> Let us play, little brother. Lilimur bubbled. See if you can knock down this pine cone. Oh, you just used the force? An 
no way he just kept that in his pocket. Just his pocket rock. Just, do we hit her once? Oh. She's got... She's got an iron face. Does not care. Hey, steve can you share it to me? Um... I've never done that. I don't know how to share the game. But... It's just called Bramble, B-R-A-M-B-L-E, The Mountain King. If you search anything like that, you should find it. Otherwise, it's a newer game. So if you search in the newer places, you can find it there as well. <laughs> Ow. Look, uh, my, the controller slipped. It was a good throw, I thought. I thought it was a good throw. Um, that's not on me. She should have been able to catch it. <laughs> oh. uh, I was going to say what a sweet moment, but uh, not so sweet anymore. Is he in his Delulu era, or did he find, really find his sister? I don't know. We might be delusional right now. We might be tripping balls. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is going to be one of those things where you wake up in your bed and nothing ever happens. You just start, or you end the game where you started. Together, uh -oh. they tumbled down deeper and deeper through the old ruin. And there's a narrator. Like, is this a book? Is any of this being in this universe? Oh, uh, right. We're in the Mushroom Kingdom. Hopefully a plumber can save us. Follow me, little brother. I will protect you. I said Nordic, Lillimore but I'm looking said. at his outfit and I feel like maybe he's, he's more German. She was never scared like him. Ule wished he could be a Ule. little more like his sister. I don't think I would, uh... The narrator wasn't telling me how to pronounce the names, I would never get it right. And Ule loved Lilimur. Hi. Oh, where'd she go? Melia, how are you doing? What's up? How's your day? Welcome in. Be in here. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Sunday if you're a little ahead of us. William, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing super good. Super good. We had a great stream yesterday, wrapping up Dead Island too. I'm super excited for this. It's gonna be a long stream. This is gonna be one of the longest streams uh, for me. Normally, I'm only doing hours. I think we're gonna be on for five, six, maybe. Oh. Oh, the melon. <laughs> what just happened? Eat <laughs> false. This space plant. Oh. I think I'm gonna like this game. Game card shared at the end. Okay. Oh. Camera kind of tells you where to go, so you don't have to do too much exploring. Maybe. Game for you. Disobeyed his mom and went out in the woods to find his sister. And, um, did I go slow? Like, I'm confused why this isn't working. I, I'm just rotating the stick. I need to go very slow. <laughs> Kayla, thank you for the like. Let's go. <laughs> what is this little guy? I kind of like him. But overall, William, I really don't know. I really don't know what's going to happen or what it's all about. 
Come here, you. He doesn't want to be got. Try to get him. James and the giant peach slash apple. Yeah. <laughs> Gnomes are like peculiar them. and playful creatures. They haven't run into any giant insects yet. But... They live peacefully in daylight. And I love the details in the and game. And keep so in their pretty. houses at night. This is what I mean. It's. This is what I heard. Visitors that don't want to eat them were unheard of. I haven't of. seen any of this part, but until I heard it was this very day. Gentle and peaceful in the beginning, and then it turns. It turns, it gets real bad. So we're um we're in the real, real gentle part. Is this a big no? They have their own gnome stages. Adrian, it kind of reminds you of a game you played. Uh, what was the game? Do you remember? It's a lot like Little Nightmares, the game I played. Um, in a very similar play style kind of genre. Here's you playing some Fallout 74. Nice. Are we doing a hide and go seek? All right, hide and go seek it is. I know. Okay, I don't like this camera. It's not. It's not doing what it should be doing. I've broken it. I've broken the camera. All right, that's way better. I feel like. Let's take a look. Driving me nuts. It needed to focus in better. <laughs> Cute little things. Major or not really, since the, the games you play are more like an MMORPG. Okay. Some of those are really fun. Some of those you can spend a lot of time in. There's one. Is it like calling out to me? Oh, yep, there he is. Two left. Now that I found you all, you have to help me open the door. With <laughs> our combined strength. Of two children and the angels. <laughs> uh, have fun in Gnomeville. The fact that they keep falling down is it just kills me every time. I can't get past it. Oh, where's my sister? Oh, we got pumpkin creatures. Hello, can I get no? Yeah. Oh, oh, pumpkin lord. Huh? Oh. 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 Yeah, I'll just go on in. Why am I here? It felt like they were hoping to do it open more. Yeah. I'm gonna get ya! Get in my belly! Dang, you never lose the pumpkin creatures. 
Oh, I gotta hurt him in? Probably. Oh. I'm a little slow, but I'm getting up to four, I think. Okay, I see at least five. No, 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 no. You get going. Dancing Mad Woman, hello! How are you doing today? Remember you had a Saturday stream. <laughs> well, good, good thing you just remembered just now. We've been going for a little less than an hour. Good timing. But it found me. Jeez, thanks for popping. Be in here on this special Saturday stream. Yeah. Aha, we did it. We corralled him. I don't know why. No. Daydreaming games like this one, having so many details, is gonna make me go mentally insane. <laughs> Sorry, especially seeing that they're hidden so well. Oh, these little little guys hiding amongst the uh, badge, the gnomes are so hard to find. Okay, okay. Now we got the lily pads. Gonna see some frogs. It's Madwoman also traveling to my friend's house, so if I don't answer a uh, question, it's because I don't have suits. Okay, no problem. Thank you for keeping me up while you travel around. How long's your drive? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, there is a frog. Oh, it's not just any frog, it's King Frog. minute drive for it? That's not too bad. It's not a short one by any means, but it could be worse. Mostly city driving or country driving? From a small town, so if I have a 30 minute drive, it's uh, nothing but trees and cornfields. Not much scenery. Is this something? No, just a little mushroom. It kind of looks like a little lizard. Daydreamer, I think I've been here for like 15 minutes or so, and I'm gonna try to fall asleep, I guess. Uh, I really do want to stay, but I'm like so sleepy. No problem. Hey, if uh, if you haven't already, do me a favor and subscribe over there, and we'll be able to catch the rest of this sometime afterwards, or hang out with us some more on our next stream. Uh, it's definitely a great talk to you. And, hey, as I always say, I'm all back. <laughs> we'll, we'll still be here. I think you've maybe been here a little more than 15 minutes. You've been here a good little bit. Hey, it's a 30 minute drive to work. I about to they were by. both curious oh, in different so ways. While Lilimur quickly ran along. <laughs> I also get to work from home a few days a week, so that drive is fantastic. Enthralled. Huh? Huh? Where's my sister? And suddenly, uh, Ole was Ole. alone again. Not alone, I have, uh, I think you're better with me. Wait! Oh, okay, I did wait. Either way, have a fun stream. Hope you achieve whatever you're aiming for in this game. Hi, hey, thank you very much. I think, uh, oh.
the only goal I have for this one right now is just to beat it for the first time and uh, not poop my pants from the absolute tear that's going to happen. So if we can do that, it's a goal complete. Hey, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for chatting. It's been an awesome time having you. Hopefully we'll get to see you again soon. Gain some memory coming in, uh, coming in and out, getting little pieces. Okay. I won't, uh, <laughs> I won't hit you with too many questions. to jump in we're good to go what was that? the river was strong and ule Olay. was weak i gotta say Olay when he they did do, not so stand a chance wanting to call him ollie but soon the sound of the river faded ole was happy to have firm ground under his feet again also, Dane's a mad woman, you said. <laughs> Sounds like you need a new job with the, <laughs> some of those longer drives. Wouldn't mind having something like this. Had anything in mind? Anything that's cool or cool? Let me know. I do like uh, working from home. If I had something that's cool or cool, I'd pick that. Weeping Willow, hello! Over on the kick side. What's going on? I thought it was a couple minutes late to see that message. Uh, just, just like to pop it in. Good to see you over there. Uh oh. It's like where the hobbits were having second breakfast. No, oh, so now I'm just out in like a nightgown. Some leggings. Hallucinating again? Rocky. Thank God he's back to save me. Probably the reason uh, that I didn't drown in the Frog King made sure that his new friend. <laughs> I got his name right, Frog King. But without his sister, he felt like the loneliest child in the world. I'm so lonely. Wish I just I had wanted to find Lillimore and go home. <laughs> Lillimore, where is you? But to do that, he had to find where the big troll had taken her. It's a troll? We had paints. We've been willing, you're gonna uh, start a new save on FIFA? You and that guy. Like a franchise deal or like a player? <laughs> Trying to do like a career mode thing? What happened to Fallout 76? Bored of it?
there was something up there, but I can't, can't tell what it is. Beat up the gnome and take <laughs> take his stuff. Uh, all right, all right, we'll, we'll do things. Give me will. Want to pick my team from the list? Uh, yes, yes, please. Give me uh, give me a couple options. I'll let you know. Sounds good to me. That sounds good to me, dancing man. I'm just gonna lurk till you get there, while uh, it's cutting it out. No problem. Thank you for the lurk. <laughs> Obvious ominous door. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. But no man I. He's like, I'll help you out, but then <laughs> you're on your own. Fuck that shit. Gnomes don't leave no town very much. Scary bridge, big scary bridge. What was that? Is that the porcupine? Giant but corrupt. Oh my god, they're everywhere. What the fuck is this? I don't want it. Oh, they got a gnome tied up. Let me pass by them all right here. I didn't want to do this. see that one. I saw... <laughs> I saw the other traps. I jump is not, not good. Oh, okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. I did not see the moss. I'll admit that's my bad. Oh, it's the troll! The one that stole my sister. Gotta 
catch him. Although I don't know what we'll do when we find him as a uh, young six-year-old boy. Not fate. Um, we're gonna come up with a good strategy when we get there. They have literally traps everywhere. Don't worry, gnome. I gotcha. Hopefully there's no trap right here. so I have no bias. I don't know which is the better team or worse. Look at that. Hold on the left side. My left.
assume he's dead. Uh, well, he's not dead, but like, what's he doing? I don't know. We really want to pick where I scout the YouTube. Yeah, let me know. Give me some options. Starting from the bottom league there should be uh, fun as long as you don't get fired. <laughs> don't do anything to get fired. Yeah, okay. Ola wanted to cry. Ola. A couple of hours ago, he had been in his warm bed. Now, he had almost died several times. His sister was gone, and he was soaked in smelly sewer water. The sewer water. Meat from whatever that thing was butchering. I know there was some fucked up deer thing with literal hands, but I don't know what else was in that sledge. Pick three random countries. Um, Sweden, uh, Denmark, and um, Romania. Little guys, I'll save you. The gnomes, as far as I'm concerned at this point, are my friends. Uh, and I will not. Gnomes, uh, I will save Walk it off. Walk it off. Gotta, gotta do stuff that when they're young and spring. Oh, cheers to Brianna as well. If I didn't cheers, um, may have been in that butcher moment. Oh, he's good. He's alive. He's alive. Can we get him out? You guys are gonna have to get some of these for me, I think. Oh, I think they're alive, but then there's a lot of blood. I'm sorry, my gnome friends. I do actually feel kind of bad. They die. They're cute, they're cuddly. They make baby noises. And they help me open doors. so far and then we have to let him 
the scan again. Okay. Keeping going. Um, that was actually pretty good. We actually picked many countries that uh, the game's let us go. Nice. I just guessed at random. I guess Sweden. Um, purely because I'm a high percentage Swedish. Kind of a mutt. I got a lot of different things. Um, nationalities that are my bloodline. But... The other ones were just random guesses. your emotions a little bit with that way though. becoming a thousand ways to die in the mountain. Thank you, Samuel, for the share as well. I don't know what they want to do. I was thinking it didn't seem good because he's really looking right there. But... Oh. Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for uh, being. How's, how's your day going? Hope you're having a good Saturday. Good, how are you? I'm doing good, doing fantastic. Um, playing through this Ramble the Mountain King for the first time. Interesting horror game. Um, I don't really know what's going on, but I'm having a great time. I'm dying a lot. Oh. Oh, Where's the branch? The pine cones? I knew there was something suspect about the pine cones. Come back any time. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the ramp, fam. What a time for it. <laughs> right on the murder of the Pinecone King. What just happened? <laughs> just so flat. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't trust the Pinecones anymore. What is that? That was terrifying. I was like, okay, I believe I can just scoot around here. Discord? Ah, uh, no. I use pretty much everything else. We use uh, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, 
I've uh, put my shaman to yet. Samuel, hey buddy, hey, how are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you again for the like and the share. Stars. Hey, oh! buddy. Thank you for the 49 stars, Jesus. Let's go. We play not getting affiliated? Well, Kind of, yes and no. I mean, it would depend. Um, there's a lot of things I like about being affiliated that I like. I like to have. Um, emotes and emotes and all that stuff. But unfortunately, if I'm affiliated, I can't alter. If I grew and I was so big on Twitch, where that was mainly where everybody was, and I couldn't use being affiliated, that'd be something I would do down the road. Are you a streamer? Are you affiliated? You're sub. Samuel, you're doing good. Fantastic. Fantastic. I've been myself so far today. This game has been. I don't know what the meat monster was there. It's the mouse. I don't know what I'm doing there. Is that just looking around? Why couldn't you multi stream if you were affiliated? Well, I could multi stream to everything but Twitch, but Twitch's rules once you're an affiliate is that you cannot stream to other platforms um, while also streaming to Twitch. So it's either Twitch or everybody else. That's just the rules they set up. So that uh, that puts a damper on it. What am I holding on to? What is this? This is fungus? Or cottage cheese? Will, guess what I called my guild on ESO? Oh, I think I heard you say it the other day when you were streaming, uh, but I can't remember. What the? Oh, I kind of remember. What was it again? It was like five names, <laughs> five words in there or something. Oh, please don't fall in the soup. I don't want to be in the soup. Oh, no, I'm going to the soup. Yeah, you're affiliated. Just picked uh, back up streaming after about a six month break. I uh, gotta take a break again. So that's against the rules. Why did they get away with it? Um, I think it's just a lack of Twitch looking for you to see if you're doing that, but it technically is against their rules, their terms of service, or whatever. Um, I know a few people who do all these stream that are affiliates on Twitch and they're attitude is and what they've said is I'm gonna keep doing it until they tell me not to <laughs> so I think there's maybe people who don't read the rules maybe some people who just don't care about the rules and haven't gotten caught because maybe they're not quite big enough yet where they're getting you know, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of views on other platforms so there could be a few possibilities <laughs> So while well, I could get away with it, I don't like getting strikes or having anything against me. 
I like to play by the rules. Oh, that was a good toss. Ola fell bad for the ill-treated giant. Maybe they just don't care. And there's so many streamers on Twitch. So it'd be hard for Lems to track it might all. be big, but he had a warm stone heart. Never streamed anything else, but I honestly don't know. Um, didn't know it was against the rules. Now I know, so thank you. <laughs> no problem, no problem. I don't think a lot of people do. All he longed for was a friend. Um, his face I did a lot of research when I first started to that stuff, and I did see that was a big thing um, against it, so I looked up at the time that that was an active rule, and I know even I so, now before, like he had found one. Um, you couldn't stream to any other platform at all. And then recently, a couple months ago, they laxed the rule a little bit and said, you can stream on other platforms, just not Twitch at the same time. So, they're loosening up, and hopefully one day they'll say, okay, multi-streaming is a common thing. If their platform, and I think Twitch has the most options and tools for streaming, if they truly believed in their platform, they shouldn't care, is what I think. But I think they're scared of competition. And uh, I think that's part of why they do this. The only one I'd be scared of if I was like is maybe what Kit could become someday. Maybe YouTube, because sheer number of people that are on the platform. This guy can This guy can that my six out of him. Oh Jesus Christ, he's out there. My goodness, this game. How am I gonna get out of this? That's a good way. That's a good way. Creepy Will, Donkey Punch and Dragons. That's right, that's what it was. I remember seeing it the other day. Those Astros that you got um, have been a game changer. Got the free trial for GTX currently. Once that runs out, you'll try Adobe Atmos. See which one you prefer. But they're pretty nice. You like them so far? You had to spell it Donkey Punch and Dragons. That's funny. <laughs> Just a backwards QP. I don't read a lot. <laughs> I hate it. Plus, I'll most likely forget it anyway. Ah, oh, that's not what it is. I mean, they make these rules and the terms of service and whatnot so long that, to be honest, I don't read most of it. But there are certain people that like to read through it and point out certain things that are a little sketchy. And sometimes that's good content. I, it's just I don't make that kind of content. <laughs> it's got to go with the doing what I do till I'm told I can't. And I don't know if. Kind of strike would be if you got Ola caught. Was comforted Again, I by think it'd the be like. Sun. And he I don't had know. I'm just the night, but just barely. I feel like it would be like um, they would just send you a message. At or least he had found the stone say, again. Hey, please stop doing that. And again, it, it had to be once you. And it felt like it so was his sister's way of telling him he was on the right path. So I'm sure you could, but. If you ever suddenly blow up and go viral overnight, you might have some damage control to do. <laughs> it's super unlikely that it's going to happen. Uh, the chances are so astronomically small, but uh, you to be careful. That's what I think of it anyway. It's good to just be careful. Play by the rules. Honey, you won't do anything to purposely break the rules. Well, that's good, at least. I, I think there's a lot of people that do that's fine. I mean, if they can get away with it, why not? Kick is like Twitch, a lot like Twitch. I thought about trying it out, but I hear it's basically a Twitter, Twitch, little no rules. They keep adding rules. They keep adding rules. I saw that. In the beginning, there was no rules. Like, you could be really lewd. Um, 
Maybe they were pretty laxed on nudity, sexuality, things you could say or couldn't say. Uh, but they keep adding rules, and a lot of that stuff's not allowed anymore. They are very quickly catching up, but early on, you know, it still says beta on their website and their app, so very early on, it's just like, yeah, just put it out there, let's just make sure it works and everything else will come after. That's good. This game is so peaceful at times. So far, I don't, I don't trust these peaceful times. But so far, it is two sides of a coin here. <laughs> Either gorgeous, peaceful, or absolutely terrifying, freaky, horrific. So <laughs> we're riding a, a porcupine using a worm to make him go. It's funny. I love this. Have you beat this game? Have you played it, hun? My first time in. I just, I can't put my finger on what to think about it. So far, I just really like it. But I'm very confused most of the time. Where's that guy? I see. No, off the camera. And I don't trust that it's going to stay peaceful for long. I low-key love the gnomes, too. They're hilarious and kind of cute. <laughs> Alright, dandelions, let's get in there. Opinion, but I definitely think you should look into making a uh, Discord. Uh, bring all your fans from all the platforms to one place to hang out. Not play this game, but I've seen multiple people play it. Oh, nice. I've seen some people play little bits and pieces. I didn't want to know too much, but all the stuff I did see, I was like, I want to play this. I think it looks great. It gives me little nightmares vibes. That's what I've been saying <laughs> since the beginning. I was like, this game looks a lot like little nightmares. I think it is different. Studio, different creators, what I looked up early. But, oh, and I, I do have a Discord. Let me be clear on that. Sorry, I don't have it. Hold on. I think in the, on Twitch, the about area has some quick links. I don't know if Discord is one of them. I have one. I just don't do much on it. I just don't. I have not really used Twitch much. Past. Oh, I don't have one. Okay, I'll have to add that at some point. Thank you for the suggestion. Um, I just have never really used it that much, so I don't really know how to work my way around the platform. Obviously, the best way is to just start doing it. Uh, I know that as a streamer, content creator, I didn't know how to do anything in the beginning. Um, this is another achievement. So it's something I gotta do. It is. Let's go the Lemus figure. Not the Lemus wood. Um, what I kind of really need to do is I need to join some other bigger streamers' discords. Kind of learn from them. Learn how to do things. Right now, the only thing mine does is say I'm live. Um, and I don't think anyone else really posts anything in there. Go small food. Samuel, I'm curious to know the trivia answer. Did you get it right? Um, so for these ones, I can't really play. I don't know for sure that I'd get this one correct. <laughs> but, uh, let's look at the trivia question. 
seems like a perfect time to just break out and dance. Is he tripping balls? Again? Like, I feel like the whole time this has been a psychological experience. A little ole. Yeah, we can take a quick look at the uh, trivia question. We can go over the answer again a little bit later on, um, so long as people are on YouTube. And uh, YouTube's the only platform with playback. This is the answer. But the question of the day is what color are the sunsets on Mars? Are they red, orange, blue, or purple? You can, uh, if anyone else wants to play, you can take a second to do it. If you're on Twitch or YouTube, type exclamation point vote space a b c or d for your answer if you're on facebook um it should open as soon as you open the stream but otherwise left of the chat on mobile four little white boxes click that and then it'll bring up the poll and you can touch your answer if you're on kick uh you can just throw it up in the chat if you want it's up to you honey i can help you make a discord server made multiple currently have one right now if you want to check it out and um see if you'd be interested. yeah yeah if you want to um let me know I can write it down uh, and look into it. I've tried to find some other stuff on there before and I'm just super confused at how to navigate it. So I need either need to do some YouTube research or have somebody hold my hand or just spend a lot of time playing around in Discord to get the hang of it. That is something I really do. It seems like uh, a lot of bigger time to keep on that. It'd be a good place to do announcements as well. I do announcements like when I do extra streams on Facebook and Twitter. I used to do them on YouTube, but I just don't feel like they pop up. YouTube has a, like a community thing for posts now. YouTube's really becoming sort of a social media. Pretty interesting. Weeping Willow, purple, wouldn't that be lovely? I think it would. Now, keep in mind for the answer here, Mars does not have an atmosphere like uh, Earth. So there's nothing protecting Mars to reflect the sunlight. Therefore, it might be slightly different. Or it might be the same. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Real quick, we'll do the answer for everybody, and then we'll come back to it again later if you uh, are curious. Otherwise, we'll just go over it again at the end. All right. Uh, Jorge, play the drum. And the answer is blue. Congratulations to everyone who's been guessing blue so far. You are all correct. Over on Facebook, just so everybody knows how people have been playing. Uh, there was a 25% split for orange and blue and a 50% vote for purple. So congratulations to those of you who got it correct so far. Well done. Well done. Round of applause. The studio audience here, they love it. They love everybody getting the answers uh, correct. You guys have done such a good job. Um, you got it wrong. No problem. I'm not from Mars. You're not from Mars. How could you know? Anyway, that's it. I keep on going. Um, honey, I can add you, then invite you. I don't feel um, right advertising my server in your channel. Discord is moving. Okay, I will, hold on. I'll write that down. And uh, I will try to find you after the stream. I should just be Black Ram. <laughs> Black Ram GX, Black Ram GX Gaming. Something of that variety. Uh, so you should recognize the name when I send you an invite. But thank you, I appreciate that. I appreciate the help. It's a lot to learn, uh, all these different platforms, how they work, and what's the best way to do things. Um, we're good. I spent a lot of time, personally, on TikTok. Learning TikTok's algorithm. I don't even know what's up with them, to be honest. Um, just ways to make better short form content. That's kind of where I put a lot of time outside of the stream. But, you know what? New year, new goals. The more we learn, the more well rounded I am, the better I am. Uh, as a streamer and content creator, and uh, 
a stronger community than we have them to. So, I'm not opposed to learning something new at any point. Okay, sensitive, you didn't know, so caps on the meat little case are already. Okay. Uh, I did not know, but thank you for letting me know. There was somebody. Somebody was trying to find. Um, a few weeks ago. Just. Uh, to keep in mind, if I ever did become affiliate for emotes, I've got fun ideas for emotes. So I, I really do want to become affiliate just for the emotes reason. <laughs> and uh, I could not find them, so I was doing something wrong. Shane? No. I thought. I thought I'd grab onto the chain. Uh, that is not how that works, I guess. So can you do that growl? So honey, I know you took uh, a little break for a few months there. How long were you streaming before that? Jump there, dang! This is tough. I was, I was thinking um, that I needed to jump on the platform there uh, on the right side as it falls. But then I saw the cage start to come down. When I saw the cage start to come down, I started to think, oh, maybe, maybe I need to jump on that. Okay, so if I just stay in the middle. Games take a little, little time to get <laughs> down exactly as it's supposed to be sometimes. Um, and I was saying this is like little nightmares, and I know, honey, you were as well. Um, I'm trying to think, there was another game on PS3, Xbox 360 era that kind of was like the start for these, this sort of genre. I can't remember what it was. You were a little boy lost in the woods. It was all black and white. Black silhouette. That game was super fun. I died a bajillion times. I think there was actually an achievement. Or <laughs> dying over a hundred times or something. Definitely got it. Just wanted to beat the game and I think it was like Dies. That's not good. Or water. I don't know. Is that a gigantic cat? Very round cat, perhaps? We're safe. It's daylight again. I do feel safe in here. Oh! Oh! Okay, so he plays the music. And it forces you to go up dancing. Um, no, keep playing. Keep playing, it's fine. Um, another frog out here. What's that, another troll? Don't like sunlight, they turn to stone. But it is sunlight, so that can't be a troll. What is that? Yo! 
up! That's not a troll! What the... I was hoping I could just latch on and be safe there, but uh no such luck. Not to be had. How do you start streaming in June 2022? Got affiliated. Stopped. Stopped in October. At least we started again at the end of April. Just got an apartment. Oh, okay. Nice. Jeez, you got affiliated fast. Where are you playing? Do you have one game that you mainly play, or do you have a genre you stick to? Just a variety of games you play? I didn't want to climb up there. Cheers, by the way, everybody. My magic rock prevent. Oh, I can duck into here. I, I believe it's good. Do I have to use the blue box? I, oh. I was like, I hit the right button. I hit trigger. I didn't hit. That's my beat. Unless any, anybody else want to take the lead. No? Alright. like a good little little nook oh but the cliff is fine Can we get a mulligan on that one? Jeez, everybody. Splunk. It's concerning that it took so long for the camera to change. Like, what's about to happen now?
In his past life, Natkin was a simple man that loved playing his violin. But the village did not appreciate his talent. People would frequently bully him. And the only soul That's that not did cool. not was a girl that Natkin fell in love with. One day, the bullying and beatings became so severe that Nekin's anger finally overtook him. He marched into the village, playing forbidden melodies that made everyone dance until their flesh and bone got worn down. Oh. How did he learn such melodies? They eventually died, leaving behind shuffling corpses Still trying to dance to Nekin's melodies. That's fucked up. His love was not spared death either. Devastated, Nekin left the town and lived by the lake, drowning in his sorrow. Where he still lures people with his deadly music. <laughs> I don't like that these books are uh, all real. <laughs> This is supposed to be for kids? Oh shit. God, I'm playing as a kid. Alright. Fair play then. Pulls you a little bit left and right. Like I wanted to go right up the split. And it pulled me left. So it's hard to say. Oh, like there, it's pulled me so far right. <laughs> care of the problem? Is it over? Uh, Lord almighty, I hope so. I, I also hope it doesn't get much freakier than him. That was not a scene I particularly loved. Jeez. He's hella dead. Hack it. <coughs> oh, no more forbidden melodies. It is being put through the ringer. Sorry, Ole.
back up, see if the sister's there. What nightmarish thing is there this time? I have uh, very little faith that this is gonna be a good dream. It's the same nightmare. a light. Oh. Alright. What's the light? What's the light? Is it our mother that uh, we should have listened to in the first place? Is that Pixie? Is it our long lost father? Nope, it's whatever this girl is. That's not her sister, is it? Ole is not doing well. Really struggling here. a light in the darkness. Huh? Huh? Appreciate that, Tuva. She had filled his heart with courage, and the stone with her radiance. How long have you been hiding in the woods? The bramble covers all where darkness has taken hold, Tuva said. Follow the light. You will find what you are searching for within the mountain. Or can that be? I have the light right here. Where, where am I supposed to go with the light? <laughs> Follow the light. Like a dog chasing his tail. Doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Oh, big old moose. It's one of those moose with like...
guy. A friendly troll. Huh? <gasps> or Lolum, what is he? <laughs> By the way, thank you for being in here. I'm gonna pause so I have a chance to run right away. Oh, I'm moving too slow. Going for it, going for it all. No, I'm backing out. I'm scared. You're about to get the next one for your race. Cheers, Jeez, buddy. For the cheers. Racing? You race as well? That's a hustle. How long have you been doing that for? First time, or? How long have you been doing for a while? <laughs> almost. Almost caught me. Almost caught me. Takes some getting used to. Do you have like pedals too? The land was once a peaceful kingdom with a great king. Now, his image embodied the darkness that had drowned the world in bramble. And the Logitech G29. Nice. <laughs> I've never done much racing games, but uh, if I did, I think I'd have to do so, so. You ever see the guys um, who have like the bar chairs locked in their house? They've got the wheel, they've got the pedals. Um, and then they've got like a green screen, so it looks like they are in the game. guys who do like trucking simulators that have like a full built out semi in their house with green screens around it that they're playing in and the amount of dedication to those studios is insane i'm blown away every time i've seen that that's very cool oh you know a few people like that that's cool. came with pedals that are metal and uh <laughs> So it's Lemus uh would it's always sturdy look after his only friend. Thank you, Lemus. Appreciate the save there. Making sure the bramble doesn't get me. Oh fight. 
Olle felt a chill as he saw the warnings for desperate mothers carrying their infants. They pleaded with them not to carry out the unspeakable acts they had set their minds to. Looks like a mom throwing her kids to some sort of demon creature. Perhaps a black ram. Hopefully not a black ram. But often peaceful. Just for a cockpit seat in a mount is at least 1k depending on the brand you get. That's <laughs> that's probably why I've never done it. <laughs> also, I'm just not good at racing games. I don't there's only a few that I've really gotten into in my day. Be, uh Mario Kart 64. Love that one. That's just for the seat, not for the wheel and the pedals. Oh my god. For those you can add anywhere from three to eight hundred. No, the wheels and the pedals don't be too bad. I don't think I need to see the step. I didn't think I could make the jump, so I just fell. Oi, how are you doing? Good to see you, sir. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good time. Shit! <coughs> cheers, everybody. I'm doing uh, cheers for multiple deaths. So I can see there's something up there that I need to fuck with in some way. But I don't know how to... Oh, I see. Oh, I thought I did. There's a way. Let's go. Oh, you're partying this Saturday, it sounds like. Just be honest, you don't need a cockpit and mount. Um, you can use TV dinner tray to hold the wheel and pedal. <laughs> you can sit on the floor. You can use a computer chair for the seat. That's what I would do. That would be my setup. That's just funny that you said the TV dinner tray. I like it. Is that what you use? Do you have a TV dinner tray? I figured like I would just set it on my desk that it wouldn't necessarily be mounted. Is this a masher? It looks like it, but I'm not even doing it. of me has always wanted crispy um all the extra stuff the wheel the pedals like i want to do the full setup um immersive experience for racing racing games um maybe even a vr headset would be cool mix all of those things together i feel like that'd be super fun i just don't know if i want to shell out I don't trust that thing. I have learned in this game, don't trust anything. And I I don't want to go over there. Boy just woke up at 5.05? What? How late did you stay up to? 10 a.m.? Oh, oh, hell no. Can I fuck with you? PSVR 2 and then the cockpit and mountain wheels. That's what I'm saying. What is that gonna cost you? Like 2500 <laughs> Shit, I'm back up! Cheers, everybody. Well, you stayed until the sun came up every night. I don't think I could do that. I think I'd feel shitty <laughs> if I stayed up that late. At least every time I have. I don't like losing out on that much daylight. There's not much left. If it was the winter, <laughs> you would have no daylight. 
If you're used to it, though. If you're a night owl and you're just used to it. Probably not a problem at all, huh? Just be if you want the full motion and whatnot. Probably around that. Yeah. I, I feel like there's got to be some, like, um, insane, probably decently expensive VR arcade somewhere that has the full setup for you. You can pay, like, 40, 50 bucks or something to go and do it for a couple races. I mean, they've got pretty insane VR centers out there now. I've never been to any, but it's where, like, they have the whole big gymnasium. God damn it. Available for, like, the zombie game where you get attacked by zombies from all sides. Um, and just heard other people explain some of the unique VR experiences they've had at these public places. Looks awesome. What, you used to be not a morning person? Well, you kind of are. You stay awake until the morning. <laughs> Jesus Christ! This is, <laughs> this is not going well. I'm getting to like the end of the dock before I jump. Pretty close. So I must have to get to like my tippy toe here. The game has been pretty lenient about the jumps beforehand, so I'm surprised it's so bad now. Oh hell no. like you've been to a dark place. I don't think I could imagine some of this. This game is so cool. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I love it. Thank you for going to that dark place. <laughs> Alright, left or right, left or right. Try right first. Left seemed like the right answer. I I don't know why I chose to jump off. I should have seen a dead end and said, nope, not the way. I'm getting too comfortable with dying, I guess. A little bramble in there. I tried to climb this and it wasn't working. All right, well, it works now. Dancing Mad Woman, hello! Good to see that you're back. Let's go. We're just living through this absolute nightmare. And, uh, it's going, it's going well. Hey, you know what's good? Of all the games that we've played since uh, you've been here, no giant spiders so far. I know that was kind of a trend for a while, but, uh, we're not dealing with any today. Of all the horrific things. How was your drive? Did it go well? Watch some movie called The Lockman. It's actually gonna be so fun. What's that about? I don't think I've heard of that one. I don't get to watch very many movies or TV shows. Pretty much work stream make content. <laughs> so I like knowing when there's a good movie because if I have time, I can't spend it on any bad ones. <laughs> Anyone seen Guardians of the Galaxy 3? Was that any good? 
really, really enjoyed the first one. Second one, pretty good. I've not taken the time to see the third yet. Oh, right. Uh, we can hear babies crying, and there was something fucked up about mothers doing something to their babies. Uh, that's a bunch of baby carriages. Is that the right word? I don't. I don't know how bad this is gonna be. They tell you the themes of the game in the beginning, and it's dark. It's pretty dark. For how innocent and playful this game is at times. I was riding a porcupine with my gnome friend through a, a pond a little bit ago. In the middle of the day, it was beautiful, nice, chirpy music. And then got attacked by a demon who was mad because he got bullied and played music uh, that forced people to dance until they're flesh fell off their bones. Now lives in a lake. So fucked. <laughs> Goes from so peaceful and happy-go-lucky to just fucked up. That's a mixture. Cheese powder. Is this a scary game? So far, it's a little scary. It's a little messed up, but it's also very happy, lighthearted, you know, it goes from like a kid's game to very adult, very quick. It's all over the place. Sorry, catch of it. Uh, much the first time I was here. No, that's all right. You're on the road, so you can only do as much as uh, the cell towers give you. So far, every section of the game, every chapter, every area has been. Um, some kind of messed up, I don't know if it's German or Nordic or something, tale. And I think they might be real stories, real child's tales that mothers used to keep the kids in mind, um, that they have just gone out there and made their own. Jeez. Uh, nobody saw that, so that's all right. Not putting this up on YouTube, this is getting deleted now. <laughs> Nobody saw that jump scare. Fucking crows. Hulu? Okay. Alright. I was just reading through um, the tidbit you gave me there, though. Okay. I think I'm laughing. I don't like it. I don't know what it is. It's not gonna be good. Oh, wait. It's. What's on the door? The circle plus. I was adding too many things. Circle plus. This game doesn't tell you a lot. So it's a lot of things. Boy, thank you for the like. Let's go. Who do you do? Circles, a little baseball diamond. I don't know if any more of something or a little circles. 
little spooked. This game is called uh, Bramble the Mountain King. Um, it's some kind of German or Nordic, I, I don't really know, um, fairy tale kind of thing. Um, old wives' tales, mothers' stories to tell their kids to stay obedient kind of thing. Um, you wake up in your room alone, your sister's not there, uh, she snuck out in the woods. So you don't want to be alone, so you go sneak out in the woods to find her. It's very happy and very light and innocent. And um, then she gets kidnapped by some kind of monster, giant monster, the darkness, a troll or something. You have to live out these different uh, nightmare scenarios as you move through the forest to try to save her now. And you're like a six-year-old boy. So I've escaped uh, some trolls, a butcher, uh, a crazy guy in the lake who plays music and forces people to dance and uh, he makes them dance until they die in a very gruesome way and uh, I'm currently in an area where inscribed on the rocks it says something about uh, some kind of horrible thing mothers did to their kids so I'm thinking um, they've found their kids in the lake or something and you now have to deal with these Fucked up moms that want to draw me. Oh, here's the storybook. This will tell you what this is about. If you find yourself in pain and sorrow, cry no more. They will be gone tomorrow. Okay, not a good start. Listen to the voices of the deep and join the wolves that circle round the sheep. Okay. A temporary you sacrifice you make. What are we doing here? Why are we doing this? Maybe we shouldn't. Behold Maybe that's a sign that this is a bad book. Into gold. Soon a god emerges from the mold. No longer human, brittle and alone. A god is reborn, seated on a throne. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to get out of these woods. I don't. <laughs> I'm done with these woods. Um, my sister, you know, she should have listened to her mom and not left and not gone in the woods in the middle of the night. You know what? She's on her own. Uh, I just want out. I just want out at this point. This is her bad, not mine. I would just like to say, I don't want, I don't want this. <laughs> we'll have to check it out. <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> You went from cool, I'll have to check it out to hell no. Turn that shit off. Too scary, it makes my ears and hair stand up on my screen. I, I hear you. The other storybooks have not been demonic like this. Although fucked up, but not demonic. So it's getting darker as we go along. Shit's like demon stalking. I, 
I think that was the goal. Oh, okay. I don't. I. I don't. I don't like it. Did you saw me. No. I don't want to go any further. But I, I don't want to stay here. Playing on PC? I'm playing this one on Xbox. I'm sure this is on PC as well. We're stacking books? Like we're gonna be stacking a while. <laughs> it's interesting that they were the same size as me. So far, uh, everybody else has been gigantic compared. We're on site. I'm on Xbox. I'm sure this is on PC and probably PlayStation as well. Although I, I would say I'm 90% certain it's on uh, PlayStation. Try to bring it down. What do they want me to do from up here? I thought it was just climb out the window, but it didn't really work. Unless I had to crouch. The witch ah. was ahead of him. Witch. Ola knew he had to hurry before uh, she could yeah. complete the ritual. <laughs> if he did not catch up with the woman, the swamp would swallow another child. Save the child. But he did not know. That someone else wanted to hold him back. A midwife who wanted more Dark Souls to take care of. Dark Souls? Well, she's in the wrong game. Maybe she should go play Dark Souls then. Get out of Bramble. I don't know. Um, this game is solo. As far as I can tell. believe there's any co-op with this one. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't tell how much further I can go. Oh, I panicked. I panicked. It started to sink, and I was like, okay, I need to go. I need to go. And I just jumped in a direction. I, I realized the correct direction very quickly. <laughs> Another one. 
take that. You bitch. I'll let her out. Oh! Oh, hey, Chris, thank you, uh, thank you for getting me over on YouTube as well. Appreciate that. Hold on, I got cheese. I gotta keep a, one of the baby carriages uh, lit up. Oh shit, I would've crapped my pants. Um, yeah, I definitely did. Um, <laughs> that would be embarrassing to do live on stream. Oh, it works that time! Okay, I've been very Because I definitely did that the first time. I don't want to be here. 
Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's light on him. Um, that's what I'm scared of. Or scared from it's kind of like odds. Uh, light in some way. Something, something to that extent. I don't really know. But we've been able to use it to fight pretty much everything. It's the only thing keeping us alive. So. Good. <laughs> I'm, I just saw a couple small clips. There is a witch. No. What you doing with that baby? One way to send a message. Message received. Do what you want with that baby. I'm out of here. Your house is over there. The dock is this way. I don't, uh, I, I don't care. Uh, in this case, I'm a six-year-old boy. I am no hero. I just want to leave. You know, every time I've saved anyone in this game, not every time, but on a, a couple of occasions, when I have saved people, I don't know what but I don't know what the point of getting rid of that vine was. Um, they usually just die still. The game is really good at just tearing your heart out <laughs> so far. Ah, that's good. Here's it. Just get the hell out of there and look for the sister. I don't even want to find her. I just want to, I want to be I don't want to save anybody in this case. <laughs> so do we get the boat and then we come back around or something? Must be, must be. That's that's what I'm missing. We need to come all the way back. I thought you could just jump up on it. <laughs> it's one of those games that doesn't tell you what to do at all. So I to figure it out. <laughs> you got a brain. Don't make it happen. Okay, we got a ladder over here now. <laughs> You think she can hear us? You think we're pissing her off now? She can't do whatever evil spell she's doing if uh, we're breaking her concentration. So that's the whole plan. Unless she left, and then that was useless. What is that? What is that? Oh shit! The bramble's coming. All right, run, run, run. save the baby, not by choice, um, but out of circumstance. Is there something in the water? Oh, there's something in the water. Okay. God, it's that close. This thing is fast. Alright, 
not that close that time. Well. I do not know what this accomplishes. Never be the the same. <laughs> Whatever innocence this kid had, it is gone. His life changed forever. Um, man, I don't think I'd come out of this without having me put in the ward. But this kid is like six years old. Is this the baby? Jesus Christ. Oh, she drowned the baby by putting a sack over its head and throwing it in a small pond and then hanging herself. Oh my god, this game goes places. Now this like six year old kid. Leah had been too late. Is burying a baby. At oh, least he could give God. the child a proper burial. So that it would not become another dark soul. What the fuck? Watch, the game's about to go to a very lighthearted, happy place, though. Very soon. It's gonna be daytime, it's gonna be happy, it's gonna be go lucky. Be playing with our friends, the gnomes. What's fucked up? Hey. Who's that? There was a light in the darkness. Mm. Guilt mm. and sorrow weighed him down, but the warm glow felt comforting. Are you gonna eat me? Follow the light, Tuva had said, and he trusted her. All right, real quick before we start the section, I'm going to take a quick um, couple minute break here. Just going to run to the bathroom quick, fill up on um, some cheers juice and uh, scarf some apples down so I'm not eating and distracting everybody with that during the stream. Um, but again, I, I won't take much time. I'll be back really quick. In the meantime, we'll play some Who's That Pokemon. If there's anyone uh, out there who wants to play, you simply type in the chat the name of the Pokemon if you think you got it. Um, and if you play specifically on Twitch and you type in the correct name, the correct spelling and all that, it'll reveal the Pokemon and move on to the next one. Nobody wants to play, that's fine, but uh, that's what we're going to do. So we'll be right back, everybody. I'll 
To stop this world from spinning Like Superman, you were the only one to find The strength in all that I was dealing with This life, like kryptonite And if you keep me close Every minute in this hourglass You hold Across the stop me from hitting the ground and every go. 
right, and we're back. Sorry, it was a little bit longer break. I actually didn't get that many. That was, uh, did all the things I said I was going to do, and then I was, uh, looking through my phone, trying to see. I had to reply to anybody or anything like that, so thank you for everybody uh, hanging out. Thank you to Crispy for playing some Who's That Pokemon, and Louie has returned. Let's go. What have I missed? Oh, man. Ah. Ah. <laughs> But you came at a perfect time. We're entering a new chapter. And um, I don't think it's huge if you miss the other things, but I'll explain it as we uh, go along. The Lichtgube was older than the mountain. The Lichtgube. Almost as old as the world itself. He was the keeper of secrets. The um, gatherer of stories. So, it sounds German. It does sound German. Maybe this is German folklore. I started wondering based on his clothes. I was like, this seems more German maybe than Nordic. Um, so what's happened so far? Uh, we started off, we went in the woods. It was very nice, like, peaceful, if you remember. Um, and then we found the sister. The sister got kidnapped by some giant creature. I thought it was a troll, but maybe it wasn't. We had escaped some trolls that were butchering animals and trying to eat us. Uh, and we managed to keep one uh, out until sunlight and it turned to stone. Uh, we then went to a lake that we passed through where there was a man there who his story was that he was bullied a lot and uh, fell in love with this woman and the bullying got so bad that it, he played violin or something and uh, he learned some forbidden melody that when he plays it forces people to dance and it was happening to us uh, and he played it to all these people in the village uh, until all the flesh uh, was rotted off their bones so um, real fucked up guy and then he tried to catch us and eat us um, and in doing so we fell off a cliff where he died found some lady of light that saved us uh, who told us to find this character uh, which we had to pass through another lake area where we came across a witch who was drowning babies for demonic powers um, that part was real fucked up <laughs> and uh, as we just got through that we ran into this guy and that's where we are now so that's the quick catch up synapses of where we're at Looks like he's ready for Oktoberfest, right? Doesn't it? He doesn't have the, uh... Oh, man. I don't know why it's escaping me what the clothes are called. I even own one. Don't think I ever streamed with it on. I, I did plan on doing some <laughs> German streams. Being real silly with, uh... Lederhosen! It, it almost looks like a Lederhosen, but it's not. But it does still kind of have that style to it. Is it like a horror game? There is some horror aspects, for sure. Long ago, right, there was a peaceful the kingdom is. that lacked an heir to the throne. King Nils and his queen Magdalena had waited for a long Magdalena. time. And at last, she was expecting a child. She gave birth to the longed-for son, and they named him Ulrik. But suddenly, Doctors crowded around the queen's bed. Magdalena succumbed to the labors of childbirth. The love of his life was gone. Weighed down by sorrow, King Nils approached his autumn. Meanwhile, Ulrich grew into a young boy full of life. Prince was the only thing that kept the darkness at bay in his heart. One day, Prince Ulrich fell ill. The doctors tried everything, but he grew weaker and weaker. They told King Niels about a mythical flower that witches were rumored to use to heal any illness. King Niels. Searched the whole kingdom for the flower to no avail, 
and his campaign soon became a gruesome witch hunt. His path was lined with the witches he had slain, but the flower was nowhere to be found. Holy fuck! What an image! Um, I do not condone the face stabbing of witches. Who's the person in the library with you? I don't know. Uh, we, they said their name real quick, but I've forgotten. It's uh, some kind of German sounding name, so it's not a string of words. It's not like a George or something easy that I can remember, but not sure. How long is this game supposed to take? Uh, I read on Google about four and a half hours on average. Uh, we are almost three hours in. I probably, you can probably shave off half an hour of me chatting um, in my small break there. So probably about halfway, I would say. They said speedrunners could beat it in three and a half. So I would say between three and a half to four and a half is probably where I'll end up. But there's not a lot of side shit to do, so I can't, I can't keep getting off task like I do in other games. Is it a one-day game? Yes. We are going to beat this today, and then after uh, today, we'll be back on Monday through Thursday next week, 6 to 9 p.m. CST for Diablo 3. Playing that right before Diablo 4 comes out, I've never played and beat Diablo 3. I beat 1 and 2, so uh, I definitely want to get caught up on that story before we get to do what's coming out. That's the last big hype game I can think of before the summer, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's because he took the flower face. Yeah. George. We can just call him George. George, come back! So, is that the Mountain King? I thought Bramble, the Mountain King. I thought, like, my character was Bramble and he was the Mountain King. Not the case. His name is... Uh, Ole and uh, Bramble are the vines around. Ole wished he could stay Ole. in the it's warm like a, it's light like a, of the oh, library. Ole. But he knew that he needed to reach the mountain and find Lilimor. Lilimor. I can't, it's like Lord of the Rings speak here. I can't do these names. Thank you, George. <laughs> That's his name now. I don't care what his name was. Suddenly, before. he is George. He heard a familiar voice. Follow me, little brother. I will protect you. Oh, thank God, because I've been protecting myself so far. And uh, while it's gone well, I, I hate it. I would rather somebody protect me. Also, is there some, like, ominous laughing there? I don't like that. Ole. <laughs> no, I don't like this. I don't. I don't. Are you able to have a quick dad joke to lighten the mood? We can do a quick dad joke. Let's go. We'll, <coughs> we'll, we'll uh, see what the joke was. I kind of forgot already. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for this? You guys ready for this dad joke? 
I have a scary joke about math, but I was too squared to tell it. Get it? Like, math is the two and then there's a little two, two squared. Ah, you guys get it. Anyway, that's the joke. And maybe, maybe, does everyone like it? Oh, did this crowd thing. Oh, look at that, the crowd, they love it. They love it this time. You know, there was crickets earlier when we told the joke. It's because um, we started the show a little bit before the studio audience got here. Uh, but now they're here, and um, thank you, thank you, everybody. A different one. We only have one prepared a day. You know how many dad jokes I have to sift through to find something of any, any value? There's so many bad dad jokes. <laughs> Try to remember. Did you hear the joke about the, uh, the elephant that didn't matter? No? Yeah. It was irrelevant. Audience wanted to go home. They're not allowed to. It's a captive audience. Uh, because of the quality. Because of the quality. Not anything against the will. Captivated. Dear God. <laughs> Dad Joe Guard. We we go hard on our There's a target on her abdomen, but it doesn't seem to do anything, either that or I just miss it. <laughs> that must be freaking right this instant. We are a crookedless society. The aim is a little low. Okay, so we get her abdomen. Oh, no, sorry. So when this goes up on YouTube, we're just gonna patch it together.
my sister in front of me? Sister, it's not that easy. You don't just get off. All right, we'll we'll we'll, we'll stop. She's hella dead. 
Let's go! Skorg's Red. <laughs> Made it through Skorg's Red. I don't even know what these letters are, if I'm saying these correct or not. I have no idea. That was hilarious. I could have continued to keep going and keep stabbing. I think after the first one, you were good. <laughs> this kid's going through some shit right now. <laughs> this is so fucked. <laughs> Refusing to die, though. Will not, will not surrender. God. So you're saying you remember the German thing from Bigor is, uh, is it overalls? Igor, what's that? And the, uh, O with the circle is Norwegian. Okay, so we got a little bit of everything. So it is maybe a little German Ola, thing. Norwegian. what have you done? Two of us voice called out to him. What I had to do. Good, no choice. Please, everybody. <laughs> I mean, look. She attacked me. Um, at that point, it was self defense. Uh, what is the rule on self-defense? How many times can you stab him in the skull like that with a sword made of light? Or it's no longer self-defense and it's aggravated assault? What, what point does it change? Um, I'd like to think I was just under the line. that many times it wasn't enough he was wasn't fully um deranged and the free hanging yeah i mean stabbed a few more times oh free and the hanging yeah the hanging's fucked this game is fucked in so many ways there's no other way to say that william harris welcome back let's go with this uh, few crucifixions. Again, um, 
starting to seem creepy. Yep. <laughs> yep, don't. Oh, I have to peel her fingers off? I don't know what it's about. There's nothing there. Can I, can I come up here and no? So I, I can't read the book straight up. Nothing. Okay. Strange. I'll I'll accept it. You hear that? What is that? There's a bunch of them. Are these zombies? Are we dealing with zombies now? German folklore, does it have zombies? Alright, I thought I could just go underneath here, but then maybe I'm sneaking. Alright, we're sneaking. And we're walking. Alright, you guys just keep eating them people. Just gonna make my way. Is Norwegian, sure. So I wonder if it's just like a mix of certain uh, tales or whatever. <laughs> okay, so definitely zombies now. Now we're dealing with zombies. Alright. Feels like I'm back on Dead Island. Oh, Levon! Doing the daily dad joke. Alright, well done. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I guess, I guess I have to come up with a new one real quick uh, because I've heard this one a few times. All right. Um, so, there, there was a joke I was making about cows, but I don't want to milk it. Ah, come on. <laughs> it was good. It was good. It was good. Um, <laughs> you didn't want to overuse the joke, so I... <laughs> Thank you, Levon, for doing the dad joke. We're, uh, we're trying to keep it fresh. I'm glad there was a few that I found that I liked. And I... I... <laughs> Mostly just find the same jokes. There's gonna be a point where we might recycle jokes. I hope not. All right. Here is the storybook that's gonna describe to us what's happening in this section. I am very curious as to what's going on. Uh, it is the heart and the horns of the big score something that we just fought. Uh, and they said, what have you done? I think maybe it's on account of us that they're zombies. Well, let's find out. Thank you, Levon, for the like. Once there was, was a the peaceful about village there was a near a great one. The forest. A one night, stars. people began to see Ooh, a beautiful woman being a with long, dark hair lurking in the shadows during the full moon. Men started to follow her into the forest. Some of them never returned. So she, this lady, and those who did the boss that we had just lost their no minds. The so this section started with the boss. Now we're going to Eventually, the, the villagers had enough. They took all the dark haired women of a certain age and put them on trial for witchcraft. They started to execute them. Hoping to find the right one. That explains what we saw. Men in. kept disappearing during full moon nights. The villagers grew more and more desperate and burned down a large area of the forest in the hope of finding this strange, beautiful woman. 
but to no avail. The villagers had lost themselves. They killed their own mothers and daughters. They burned down more of the forest that had served them with resources. Smart. Then one night, when the moon shone at its brightest, five brave men took matters into their own hands. They put on their coats and walked into the burnt forest to hunt for the woman with the dark hair. After a time, they saw the beautiful woman standing in a clearing. The men were instantly enchanted and followed her deep into the forest's heart. She was a shapeshifter that Shape mimicked what men wanted to see in order to lure them away. When they were close enough to touch her, she transformed into something monstrous. Hmm. Well, she, she ripped their the chests the open, hung them up in the trees, and drew strange powers from their still beating hearts. That explains the guys. And in the no trees. one would ever see them again. Oh, what a wonderful German slash Nordic children's tale. Um this game's fucked up. Uh, so there was one about math. I've told it uh, a couple of times today, but I'll let you guys know right now. The one about math that you want to know so bad is I had a joke about math, but I was too squared to tell it. Do and then there's the little two up top, too squared. Yeah, you get it. You get it. Can you tell we're all together? I could not. I could not. I assumed timing was it's great. I figured you have at least a chat. Um, thank you all for the dad joke, the uh, likes, the stars, <laughs> and um, everything else. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're all doing good. <laughs> Hope uh, the drive went well. another one. What's the difference between a dad joke and a bad joke? The way the first letter is facing. Ah! Maybe I shouldn't focus on jokes as much. Live by zombies out Under this. Oh no, they got me! I thought I could distract them. They'd be up there and I'd have a better chance to loop around or jump over. How joke was you? This is bad. Our friend Louie over on uh, Twitch has heard just about every joke there is today. up and drop me. Drop me back in the water. Cheers again. Thank you, Brianna, for the 100 stars. I, <laughs> I really do appreciate that. That was awesome. Louie, they're awful. They are awful. them start to chase me up there and then and get away from us. Lou, you're gonna go in 30 minutes, get some sleep. Alright, 
That was good. Maybe I can't use light? I can't see. Shit. They can't see me, I can't see them kind of thing. If I can't see them, they can't see me. Okay, well. So it looks like there's a, a ramp of hay that I was trying to get up on. Uh, and I couldn't climb up that just behind the zombie here. And I tried to climb up on this box, but I couldn't get up on, on the angle I was at. And then I just ended up jumping on the head. So that's my explanation of that. And let me thank you, by the way, for uh, giving me the update. And you've got about 30 minutes. So you're going to try to pass out. What time is it there for you right now? Is it 12.30? Almost? Just short of 12.30. I know a lot of times I say that because I round up. And then uh, I usually get corrected to like, no, oh, it's, it's 12.27 on the dot. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's maybe an that's American thing that we like to round up. I think rounding up is important. Ups. Time changes between E when I ask. It's a delay and um, a minute might move over and whatnot. So you can say 1227, and then you'll say no, it's 1228. Let's round up. Okay, so we got pentagon cross with a lower cross. Is actually really good to be fair yeah i'm i'm thoroughly impressed with how good it's been so far. stars 
Exclamation mark 50. Whoa! Exclamation mark 50. 50 stars. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Let's go. What's the exclamation mark 50 for? Is that just a joke? Because if so, you made me laugh. Thank you very much. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> Um, upside down triangle, diamond square, down, square, square, diamond. I was trying to shortcut. Oh, does that work? Did, did that work? Is that a thing? So I did not know. I've never tried. <laughs> and not, uh, I'm not aware. And Louis, what are stars? Ooh, good question. Good question. Stars are so I'm like I'm level up on Facebook, which is the equivalent of affiliated um, on Twitch. So I can receive stars, which are similar to bits, or on Twitch or super chats on YouTube. Again, I don't know what it is. Um, so it's just that platform's universal currency. So, like on Twitch, if you were an affiliate, you could get subs, um, and people can give you bits. On Facebook, people can give you stars and can also subscribe. So, uh, that is just one of the wonderful ways people support us on that platform. Um, and I was exclusive to Facebook for two years. Um... Before I started multi streaming, that brought me back. Twitch and YouTube for the first time, kick for the first time. So, that's what that is. That's why we are a little bit farther along on the Facebook side, and why we're basically the level of affiliated over there. But also, also, Facebook, if you're an affiliate, uh, or level up, as they call it there, does not prevent you from multi-streaming, whereas Twitch does something we were talking about earlier. Um, it's just a better platform for you to do that. Not necessarily, because there isn't all the emotes and the points that you can earn to spend on sounds and stuff. I wish it had those things. Um, but I just like that it doesn't have the limitations, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And that inches us even closer to our goal uh, of getting a new mic, of which when we get there, when we hit that goal, we're about 25% of the way there. We will dress up as a dog, full body dog suit, with, um, with a black nose and everything. And we're going to look like Wilfred from the show Wilfred. If you want to see a clip of that, just to get a preview. Uh, it does exist on Twitch from three years ago on Halloween. <laughs> this very, very funny um, mess up. And when we hit our goal, that's what we're going to do. We're going to dress up as that. <laughs> Poor shame. Um, and probably be like an extra Friday or Saturday or something. Uh, we're moving along pretty good. And uh, I would, if somebody was to support a different way um, through our Willow page on another platform, and they said, hey, this goes towards that mic, I want to see who that dog has to I would count that as well. That's what we got going on, that's what we're working towards. That's what they are. So a big shout out to everyone who is helping us on that side. So it's quite complicated, but I understand. It's basically just the universal currency for that platform. Um, the reason, you know, Twitch has bits, YouTube has super chats, Facebook has stars, is because if, say, you were in the UK and you wanted to donate, um, but I'm in the US, 
they don't have to do any exchange currency. It's just... Um, you throw in your money to exchange for stars, and then it gets exchanged out to the rate of the streamer. So that way you don't have to go through any extra system yourself. Stars. Just a simpler way. Whoa, Levon! Thank you for the 99 stars. Well, I died. Um, <laughs> I I was not paying attention very well. My bad. Uh, but thank you very much. Cheers. Let's go. Thank you to Levon, Kayla, and Brianna for um, the stars, the contributions, helping us out. I do appreciate that. That's awesome. I'm glad you're all together. <laughs> Still can't wait for the dog costume. It's going to be fun. I'm telling you. Last time I did it, uh, the, I'm sure the stream exists on YouTube uh, somewhere deep, deep in my earlier days. Uh, I think I just made dog jokes the whole time. I did it again. I'm trying to get on the... Maybe they don't want you to go down there, but why is there that not? Why do they put the nut there if they don't want you to scale it? What's the most views you've got on a stream on Twitch? That's a good question. I actually record the data every single stream. Let's see. So... I have a couple different statistics. Average views, max views, unique views, unique chatters, live views. And I'm actually not sure what's, I assume, like you being here in the beginning and then you coming back counts twice for live views. I'm just gonna assume unique views is what we're looking at. So, let's see. Unique view, eight, one day. Usually not a lot, to be honest with you. Sixteen. Sixteen on grounded one day. That was a good day. And when I started tracking over here, unique viewers. Sixteen on Dead Island One. Ooh, twenty-one on my last day of Dead Island One. That looks like that was my best Twitch day. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Um Facebook has been a little bit more up and down, but Facebook, I'm usually, well, Dead Island 2, I've been pretty close to and or over 100. YouTube is a real mixed bag. It's really hard to tell uh, if I'm going to do really well or it, or if nobody's going to show up on YouTube. I never know what's going to happen on that platform. I've had really good days. More than double, maybe even triple. <clears throat> the amount of views I've had on Twitch, my best Twitch days. And I've also had some where I'm lucky if I get like. What's that? So. It's hard to say. It really depends on the game, at least for the Facebook side. side it seems like it's not often a lot of new viewers I'm usually not hot on the discovery because whatever game I'm playing there's gonna be about 15 20 people with one or two viewers like me um, so I just need a decent amount of people watching or lurking uh, in a way that counts um, for me to move up the leaderboards on twitch to be seen Um, oh, another story. Facebook, it's nice because you can find groups of people that are very interested in the game or the genre of game you play. And 
share to them and say, hey, I'm playing this right now. Um, come check me out if you would like. Which is one of the reasons I went to Facebook for a couple of years. Because I liked discoverability. It was very good um, for a while. For a while it was. And it seems like this week they tweaked a lot of things and it's a lot better. For smaller streams, they, um, they can engage with the chat. It's cool. I like it. I like engaging. Um, yeah, I've been in streams on Twitch where people have at 6, 50, 60, up to 90, and they're hitting back to almost every chat. Obviously, it's very hard to do at that point, but it's still only a certain percentage of people that are chatting. There's still a large percentage of people in there that are just hanging out, just watching, and uh, will almost never say the name or anything, so, which is fine. That's fine. I have no problem with what it is. People just watching and chilling. Um, I think they're the backbone of the stream. So some of those guys with 60 to 90 people watching would have like four or five if you only counted the people chatting. So it really, um, and there's some streamers that get upset about it and I don't know why. So you can get pretty big and keep up for the most part, but um, I'm nowhere near there. So that's not a worry, probably not for a long time. You deserve more though, especially with the effort you put in. Well, thank you, thank you. I just like, um, I would like to be bigger than I am, and I I do put in the work to try to get there. But if I don't, it's fine. So long as we have a good community, a good group of people um, that's slowly growing, that's fine with me. Um, that comes in here, and when I make these changes, um, you you all get to see it. You all get to see the progress you make, and that you all have fun. We're playing. Who's that Pokemon? You guys have fun with. When you can type in the chat, exclamation point, F-U-P, and it says, now you fucked up every time I die. By the way, you can do that. I don't know if you do that. Um, when you get to see uh, all the different things we do, all the content we make, you know, um, you guys can appreciate that. So that's that's what I like. And like you, like you said, you deserve more, though, especially with that you put in. That means a lot to me that you recognize what I put in. Um, and so that's, that's okay. That's okay. Small community, um, is better than a large toxic ones. I agree. I agree. And you're going to find a lot of that if you're playing Call of Duty, Fortnite, all those games. Um, there's a lot of, uh, multiplayer, competitive multiplayer games can get really toxic. So you gotta watch those. Do, um, so wait, let me try it. Do it where it, that's the only thing in the message. Just exclamation point and the word after. So, exclamation point, bounds, darkness, F-U-P, O-M-G, reload. That, those five currently play sounds. I want to add more. Ram Horns is an exclusive Twitch one where... Oh! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up. So when you see me die multiple times, play that. Play that. Play darkness. Um... There's an OMG moment. Play the OMG. Feel free to play them all just to <laughs> see what they do. Um, you need an S on that one, just so you know. Um, the Ram Horns is like a... You know how the streams, when you're in there for someone who's affiliated, and you gain points to use for things? So it's kind of like that, except you can't use it. It kind of shows where you are, uh, how much you've been in the stream. Um, whether you're just watching or not. So it's kind of cool, fun little thing to do. You know, <clears throat> okay, so you're doing them and they're not making sounds. So I, I'm pretty sure I took off the cool down. So you could just play them. I had it originally, so you had to wait a minute. But I thought I changed that. Let me check. There's no cool down. Down. Hmm. So you might have to wait a minute between each one. But it doesn't cost you anything to do. So you could, we could make it like Twitch, essentially skip over that whole spending points 
do things. Um, you could exchange ram horns as you collect other good stuff. I guess there was a global cooldown of two minutes. I did not see that. Hmm. Okay. I think now you should be able to play them all whenever without a cooldown. Uh, I had never seen that setting, so I didn't change that setting. Dear Diary, I am so in love with him. I cannot even describe it. It feels like he loves me too. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Hey, you got it now. Our village still tries to heal yeah, its wounds from the dark days. But at least me and my love survived so, uh, and have each other. We'll have to mess around with that. It's all new to me. Um, I just haven't put more After time After the into horrible it. witch hunt, we thought we were safe. We thought we would have peace, but then the plague came to our village. It feels like the plague is some kind of punishment for our sins. Maybe, Maybe we deserve People this. say they have seen an old woman with a rake at night. Every house she passes, people inside get sick. I hope she does not come to my house. We're gonna run into the rake woman? I don't want Every no more break woman. Someone new has fallen ill, and shortly thereafter the they die. What other noise sound commands? It should be We do bounds? not even dare to give them a proper funeral. OMG and reload. So between bounds and reload, those five right now are the ones. Maybe I'll have to. Um, it is horrible. Identify them. The dead are rising the from their graves, and they commands. eat the ones left alive. You went out of I house. have locked myself in the house. I got separated from my love. Are you and your freeloader? Those, those two are classics from uh, our stream days. Uh, Out of Bounds was when I played Madden uh, last year. Just came out, and uh, I lost the game because my guy got pushed out of bounds. I watched the replay so many times. When you go out of bounds, the time stops. But the game didn't count it as he went out of bounds. Which is bullshit. The referees screwed me because my guy wasn't even tackled. They just blew the whistle and kept the clock going. Not a rule. So I lost the game and I yelled, but he went out of bounds. <laughs> and then the uh, reload was my very early days three years ago. Uh, a friend, Squatchy, was playing Apex Legends with him and that was his freak out. Starts with me going, ooh, because he died. And uh, <laughs> everything else is him freaking out. Nancy Madelman's still in and out. I'm sorry. No, you're all good. Don't apologize. Thank you for popping back I wish I could in. be with him. Um, I hope I can I'm meet him in the next life. I'm glad that you're able life. to pop back in and hang out with us here and there. I'm out of while food. The, uh, and the dead are right outside so well. my door. Uh, how's I it going? You having fun? so much. You and your friend doing anything... Uh, Anything cool? Anything special? The rake woman, though. I don't know. Ah! I thought it was the rake woman. I got, I got scared. I don't want to deal with a rake woman. I got talking too much. I got I got zoned out. I I forgot about the horrors that I'm dealing with. Um. I bet.
Louis, sorry, you went to the toilet, didn't hear anything after the out-of-bounds thing. Oh, I was just explaining where those sounds came from. Um, the out-of-bounds, the reload, what was happening back in the day when we made those. I got scared of some zombies. That's about the meat and the potatoes of what you missed. Cheers, cheers to uh, it's Madelman and Ruby for hanging out, and coming back. Um, good to see you both having to leave and then being able to come back and still hang out. I really do appreciate that. And a lot of times people say um, they're gonna leave and they're gonna try to back. Woo! and it doesn't usually happen. I, mean, I understand that's life, so I don't get upset about it. But it's super cool when they people actually make it happen. So cheers to you. Um, thank you very much. <laughs> is it okay if I go to sleep? No, absolutely. Hey, you don't need to ask me. If you're tired and you want to go to sleep, go ahead. I'm uh, super grateful, by the way, that you were able to come in here right away when the stream began. And uh, that you were able to come back after the stream And chat so much, so thank you very much. I appreciate uh, all your support, chat with you, hanging out with you. Wow, that was fantastic. If you are unable to sleep, though, do me a favor and come on back. <laughs> well, if you can't sleep, make sure you do. You know, most of the time, it's like my head hits the pillow and I'm out. So. play the uh, fup or the darkness <laughs> if you ever see me die like that feel free to play those sounds you know what props will I might be back hey if you don't come back have a good night sir have a good weekend and uh, I'll see you next time <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. It's been a pretty, pretty good weekend. Pretty good stream. So, uh, I think I'll, I can finish it off with a good weekend here. Dang, it's like, you shine the light, and then you duck down. And it seems like that's enough to get him off your back. And I <sighs> had it once. <laughs> but of course, I fell in the hole last night. <laughs> I don't know if I can just sneak past him. I might try that. See if it works. I'm just a happy little boy. Hanging out in zombie town.
I figured out the crank thing. In most games, it's just like keep spinning it round and round and round and round and round uh, as fast as you can. It's like this one, you need to point the stick to where it's aiming. So, yeah. all right, ole, ole, let's. Go. Oh! those dots. What are all those dots? Oh, rats. Oh, God. <laughs> Did not have a lot of trust that that's what it was. I don't, I don't trust anything in this game right now. thing in that way.
the rake woman. Esther, Esther figurine. So we're going to run into Pesta soon, huh? Eh? Wanted to buy some groceries, but we were uh, penniless. <laughs> Penny, penny, penny. Oh, eclipse. Before we continue going on, um, it's going to take another uh, quick one to two minute break for the bathroom, um, refill on drinks and all that stuff. So we'll BRB everybody. Uh, I don't know if there's many people in here right now, but we'll do the Who's That Pokemon game. And uh, if anyone wants to play along at home or who's watching this afterwards, you can kind of play. Um, but if you want to play, you can always throw up the chat uh, wherever you are. Or the name of the Pokemon. If you do it on Twitch and you spell it correctly, uh, it will reveal that Pokemon and put up a new one very shortly after. All right, BRB everyone.
We're back, everybody. <clears throat> Sorry, scarfing down some apple slices here. Um, which is the majority of my... <laughs> Where do I go out in the water? Oh. I definitely didn't want to do that. Oh, oh, Oule, get some hustle. want to see the rake woman nope 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 no nope. get me out of here get me out
I start in her mouth, I move forward, I drop in her mouth. wrong and you're fucked. But you don't have enough time to guess them all, so you're fucked. <laughs> Get to Rowan! 
eyes are open. The Nomi Nami Hogwarts Harry Potter 2. Blackheart guy says something like that. Pesta something. He had overcome the darkness. He had reached the mountain. Finally. Maybe I'll become king. He could finally find his sister. How do I know she's here? I did see her explode from the forest nymph. Oh, I'm still rowing. Okay. <laughs> when the camera angle changed, I thought it was just gonna take me in. Take me in, Bob. He reached the, the summit. Ola felt regret. Regret that he could not stop his sister from being taken. This is never happy. Regret that he could not stop the woman from drowning her child. He reached the summit. Ola felt regret. Regret that he had killed the shapeshifter in the forest. Oh, 
Okay. Ule doesn't have to live in a world of regret anymore because he's dead from summit, barely touching a non thorny part of a goddamn line. What are the rules? Now the mountain stood before him, and he wished he could ask their forgiveness. He had reached the end that Tuva had pointed him towards. Now, entering the halls of the mountain, Ulle was ready to find his sister. Long ago, there was a peaceful kingdom that lacked an. Let's see if it's exactly the same. What? What? Oh, there's a change in the story. One day, his path. Exhausted, bloody, and at his wit's end, King Nils came to a witch's house on the outskirts of his kingdom. He fell to his knees, begging the witch to help cure his son, and she agreed. The witch explained that the flower held tremendous power that could only very carefully be used for good. The witch instructed he only use a single petal, using the whole bloom would only invite death. Ulrich began to recover, but discontent at the royal line had grown in the kingdom, following King Nils' bloody campaign. The next day, King Nils found his son dead, and the last light holding his darkness at bay was snuffed out. Heartbroken, King Nils turned to the bloom which had promised life, and instead saw it as an escape from his suffering. The witch, having come to visit the king and the prince, looked at the nightmarish scene in despair. She raised a mountain on top of King Nils and shackled him using the same bramble that he let loose upon the kingdom. And to this day, the trolls still feed him as punishment for his evil deed.
his chair, right? Jeez, everybody. at all with me being in the uniform. I don't know what this all has to do with each other. I only have one hand for the clock. Oh, the second hand for the clock. I don't know how to get. <laughs>
That's... Okay, I'm a little messed up. I got it. Ah, oh, there we go. Side of his mountain kingdom now. forever now opened at about 30 extremely good screenshots of this game because there's no UI and uh, I can keep going because this is a single one so just took another one like the mountain so king beautiful. who was meant so to be beautiful. hidden forever is now revealed it. He just had to reach the sack before Lilimur ended up as the giant's dinner. Yeah. And real quick to uh, add some suspense, we're going to take one more short break real quick. Just going to go to the bathroom, BRB, uh, be about a minute. So we're not even going to do the Pokemon game. We'll just be right back. All right, BRB. <laughs> Oh. 
I told you to be quick, we're back. Are we going around the back? Some steps right there. Got a big old sword right there. Let's see what's going on sword. I started to think as I got closer, I'm like, I bet you I have to scale this.
started to run immediately and I was already pissed about it. This is such a pain in the ass to try to make progress um, and avoid hits. directly in the shadow. survive the hell. How to die.
jumped. Which, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do instead. I, I have no idea. God, so early. in the middle you jump you die you run to the side you die you stay in the middle you die where the fuck are you supposed to go to the front the music is too bad jump right after when I missed I was like no I can't accept that kind of crouch again I think I think it was either crouching or being behind uh, the objects Bramble weakened. The Mountain King saw clearly for the first time in centuries. And what he saw reminded him of his beloved son. He would not lose him again. This time, King Nils would overcome the darkness. I thought he was 
gonna destroy the flower, I guess. He's just gonna sit there while the I... source of the curse blossomed. <sighs> King Nils tore the bramble rooted in his back and brought it all to an end. The only way to get to Lilimur was now up and in. In? Like in. This is why you just listen to your mother. That's fucking disgusting. Tuva had one last gift to give to Ole. her up, frightened by her memories. She searched for her brother's comfort, but he was nowhere to be found. It looks like we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six.
However, the darkness outside did not scare her. <gasps> because she knew she had her brother. if there is any post credits going on here but i don't think so i can't seem to skip it like uh, i was able to uh for some other games like dead island 2 which we didn't shouldn't be as long either um so that was it good five hour stream uh i think we beat it in under four and a half probably so we beat it under the average time which is pretty solid um We'll do some shout-outs quick, we'll do the trivia quick, and then we're going to end her. Uh, as I haven't really eaten much actual food, just a couple apple slices all day. And, uh, yeah, it was an awesome Saturday stream. Jigo Kura, hello! How are you doing today? Jeez, by the way, thank you for joining us. Catching us right at the end here. Um, so, let's see here. Thank you to Daydreamer on YouTube and Louie for popping in and chatting along with us. Um, and Brandon Dixon for the likes um, and chats. Appreciate all of you. Thank you to Weeping Willow over on Ick for popping in and chatting along with us. On Twitch, thank you to Jigo Kura um, for being in here right now and chatting along with us. Same like always, to be honest. Now, there's plenty of times you've been in here early or in the middle. Let's say the last two to three weeks. No, because the other day you were in here for, you were in here pretty early. So you're not in here at the end all the time. But today was a different day. You know, we started pretty early. We've been going for a while, so that's all right. It's gonna happen sometimes. Um, Hey, I'm just glad you're here. How's your day been? How's your weekend? Uh, thank you to Louie for chatting along with us quite a bit, being here in the beginning and the end. Uh, well, middle-ish, towards the end. Thank you to Dancing Madwoman for popping in and out when you were able to. Thank you for chatting along with us. Dropping that lurk earlier. Thank you to Krispy Kreme BR for popping in, hanging out with us. Chatting quite a bit throughout the stream. Um, let's see. Oh, real quick. Credits. I don't know if anything else will pop up. I'm just switching just in case. No? Okay. Wow, there's quite a bit of achievements we still didn't get. 13. All secrets. Probably six or seven of them being um, those wood gardens that we didn't quite find. Oh, the honey brie. Thank you very much for chatting along with us for quite a bit in there. And thank you for the follow. Uh, I think that's it. But we uh, we had a busy day on Twitch. Thank you all for being over there. Think of Kura, you mean how I am, and I mean the last week, so not so good. Uh, I'm sorry. Hoping things might get better for you. They should. They should. Keep it up. Um, keep your chin up. Things will get better. Get better, but hey, um, just uh, let's keep some positive thoughts. And, uh, everything should be all right. Thank you to over on the Facebook side, William Harris for the like, chatting along with us here and there. Um, thanks to Steve Butler for chatting along early on. Thank you for the like and the share. Kayla, thank you for the like. Brianna, thank you for the like. Samuel Anderson, thank you for the like and share. Uh, boy, thanks for the like, chatting along quite a bit as well. Uh, 
but let's let Facebook do the math for me on these stars. Thank you to Brianna for the 100 stars, Levon for the 99 stars, Kayla for the 50 stars, and Samuel for the 49 stars. Kind of had quite the array there uh, of star numbers, usually it's um, increments of 50, so that, <laughs> that was pretty fun, that's pretty interesting. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, we are now at 25% of our goal for a new mic. Trying to upgrade some of our equipment here when we do get that. Uh, as a reminder, we'll be dressing up as a dog, doing the dog stream. Pretty much dressed as Wilfred from the show Wilfred. Um, if you want to see a clip of what that's going to look like, it does exist on Twitch. Go to twitch.tv um, at blackram slash blackramjxgaming and you will find uh, in my clips that one. We'll be doing that as another Saturday thing probably or a Friday as a special thank you. Everybody will be dressed up, having a lot of fun, doing some dad jokes. Halo, thank you for the um, birthday party celebration uh, emoji. I do appreciate that. So thank you, everybody. That's what we're working towards. We are growing on every platform, hitting uh, a lot of milestones. So thank you, everybody, for your help on the growth as well. If you want to help us grow on some of the other platforms or know when we're going to stream on a Saturday ahead of time or a Friday, uh, which is outside of our regular schedule. Make sure you go to the link below in blue, wlo.link slash at blackramjamesgaming. You can go to that uh, by typing in your browser, or if you're on Twitch or Kick, you can go to the About Me page, uh, section of my page, click the About Me panel, just click on the picture, the one that kind of looks like a little black hole with a black ram symbol, and I click on that, it'll take you right there. If you have Facebook or on YouTube, it is the first link in the stream description. Take you there, it'll give you a direct link to our Twitch or Kick or YouTube or Facebook, where we live stream to all four of those. Uh, Monday through Thursday, 6 to 9 p.m. CST. Also on TikTok, we just hit 1,700 uh, followers over there. Growing like crazy. Thank you, everyone, on TikTok as well. Um, our Twitter and our Instagram. Check out our Spotify or merch store and donate some if you would like from there as well. Pretty great. So go check out the Willow page. Answer to the trivia question tonight was what color are the sunsets on Mars? Is it red, orange, blue, or purple? We did go over the answer a little bit ago, but for anybody who did not hear it, the answer is uh, blue, as you see here. So congratulations to those of you who guessed correctly. Mars does not have an atmosphere like us, so um, I don't know exactly the cause of why it's blue. So I'm going to be Maybe we can figure that out real quick. I'd like to do, give people some information. The sunset on Mars is blue thanks to its atmosphere, so it does have some kind of atmosphere. I've been incorrect this whole time. If you <laughs> if you ever have the chance to look at the images of a sunset on Mars, you're in for a surprise. Sunsets on Mars are not red or orange, they're blue. Um, and the pictures are from robots, but they are still fascinating. That's a pretty cool. Huh. We'll check it out sometime. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the stream. That's the game. Bramble the Mountain King. It's a bit of a horror game. It was pretty fucked up in a lot of ways. Um, but overall, really good game. Really interesting game. I gotta give it like... Probably an 8 out of 10. It's not, not perfect, but it works. Almost perfectly. Um, there was maybe some jumps in some points where I thought it was a little wonky, but otherwise worked pretty well. I thought the story was pretty good. Hard to follow in the beginning, but you kind of start to get it towards the end. Um, I did like the sort of chapters with different horrific monsters and that they explain them to you in a old-fashioned storybook sort of sense of um, teaching you these lessons as you are a young boy going through the woods to try to save your sister. Um, so overall, I think it was, I think it was really good. I thought the art was really good. Um, the story was good and the gameplay was pretty good. Um, would definitely recommend it. Only a $30 game, half the price, less than half the price of a, a modern AAA game at release. So, uh, definitely check it out if you found it interesting. Um, so yeah, I think, I don't think we have much else to announce. We'll be back Monday through Thursday next week, 6 9 CST for Diablo 3. I have personally played Diablo 1 um, many, many years ago. It's been a long time. Um, and I played Diablo 2 Resurrection um, on stream around February 2022. So that video does exist on YouTube of all our streams. Get to do that game. Um, 
and we meant to play Diablo 3 after. Never got a chance to, but with Diablo 4 coming out on 6-5, it is a Monday, three weeks. I will have approximately four streams, three hours each, uh, 12 hours a week, so about 36 hours to beat the game. According to Google, it takes about 18 hours to beat it. So uh, with me being thorough and a little bit slow, we should have plenty of time to get through that game ahead of the release. Diablo 4. So that's the plan. That's what we have coming up. Um, we'll see about any other games after Diablo 4. I really don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. So we're going to figure it out from there. Uh, let's see. So um, we were pretty busy earlier, but it's a little slow now. So I don't think we're going to raid anybody. Um, uh, but I'm going to head out. I'm going to go get some supper since I haven't ate any food in a long time or in a while. But uh, everybody have a good rest of your Saturday and or Sunday based on where you're at. Have a great weekend. I hope you had fun so far. I hope uh, you enjoyed this episode uh, and Ramble the Mountain King. We'll see everybody on Monday. Stay fresh, cheese bags. Deuces. Why, why?